Okay, so question 14, the final um, question on this sample paper. In the diagram below, the length of each side is given in terms of x, where x is an element of n. Show that there's only one value of x for which this triangle is right angled. Okay, if this is a right angled triangle, okay, then from trig, we know that Pythagoras' theorem holds c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, so if this is a is right angled, then p y t h a g o r a s Pythagoras theorem holds, and holds means is true. Okay, so you can write it's true there if you want. Okay. Therefore, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, so I've just literally wrote down Pythagoras' theorem from uh, the trig section of the log table, so page 16. Let's label my sides, okay, because Pythagoras' theorem tells you that the hypotenuse is equal to, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides squared, okay? So right across from your right angle, is always your hypotenuse, always, okay? And that's the important one in Pythagoras' theorem. It actually doesn't mind which one's opposite or adjacent. It doesn't really matter. Um, if I put an angle in here, for example, he would be opposite, he would be adjacent, okay? But it doesn't matter. The one that's important is the hypotenuse. Why? Because it's the hypotenuse squared is equal to the other two sides squared, okay? That's another way of writing Pythagoras' theorem. So if I fill it in from our triangle, then we have x plus four squared is equal to, well, if we call that our opposite, and x minus four squared then is our adjacent, okay? So that's Pythagoras' theorem and we have to show that there's only one value of x when this triangle is right, right to make this tri right angled triangle. Okay, so it's so a lot of algebra, okay? So to square him, he's x plus four by x plus four. To square him, he's x minus five by x minus five. To square him, he's x minus four by x minus four, okay? That's what squared means. It means itself by itself, okay? So let's do this one first. So it's x by everything in the second bracket plus four by everything in the second bracket. x squared plus four x plus four x plus 16 or x squared plus eight x plus 16. Let's do this one. It's x by everything in the second bracket, minus five by everything in the second bracket. So this time I have x squared minus five x, minus five x, minus by minus, don't get caught with that one. It's a plus 25. Okay, let's do this one down here, it's x by everything in the second bracket, minus four by everything in the second bracket. X squared minus four X minus four X. And again, plus 16, don't get caught with that one, plus 16. Okay, I'm going to go on to a new page now with all of that. Okay. Um, So again, what am I doing? I'm c squared plus a squared plus b squared. So what did I get when I multiply the hypotenuse squared? x squared plus 8x plus 16. x squared plus 8x plus 16, and that's equal to a squared is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Keep going into the tables. x squared minus 10x plus 25 and b squared was x squared minus 8x plus 16. Okay, let's tidy up this right-hand side. I have 2x squared, I have minus 18x, 
and I plus 25, 35, 41. Okay, so I can see a quadratic here forming. I'm going to bring everything to one side. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus x squared from both sides, minus 8x from both sides, minus 16 from both sides, okay? And the reason I did minus these, the left-hand side was because the 2x squared here was bigger. It doesn't really matter. It was just now I have a positive x squared there. So minus 18 minus 8 is minus 26x. And then 41 minus 16 is plus 25. Okay, so write that down as x squared minus 26x plus 25 equals 0. So it's a quadratic. Okay, and you have to find the value of x. Okay, so you have two choice, factorize and solve. Or of course, you could use the minus b formula. Okay, so I'm going to do the factorize one only because I see the factors. So plus 25 by plus 1 is 25, minus 25 by minus 1, or of course minus 5 by minus 5, or plus 5 by plus 5. But the factors you're looking for are the ones that add to give you minus 26. Okay, so it's this one here. So split the x squared, the factors of x squared are x and x, they go on the left. The factors of 25, the right ones that gives me minus 26 are minus 25 and minus one equals zero. Okay, so then to solve, you split each bracket and you let each one equals to zero and you solve it, okay? So x minus 25 equals 0. Bring him over or plus 25 to both sides. Bring him over. x is equal to 1. OK, so I got two answers. OK, why did the sum say show that there's only one value of x for which this triangle is right angled? Let's think about the answers I got. So I got x is equal to 25, x is equal to 1. Okay, so it's these minus ones, these x minus 5 and 4. So for example, if I put 1 into them, I'd have 1 minus 5. So the length of this side would be minus 4. So can you see, you can't have a length of a side that's a minus number when you're drawing a triangle. And in the same way, this side couldn't be 1 minus 4, so a length of minus 3. OK, so make sure you read the question and make sure you try and figure out why does only one value make sense. It, both of these values would work here because whether that's 25 and 4, 29, or whether that's a length of 5, it doesn't really matter. But it's not 1 because you can't have negative sides. OK, so what you do is you put a line through this one. You're going to discard or throw away this one because you can't have negative lengths of sides. OK, so your answer is x is equal to 25. OK. And that brings us to the end of that junior cycle sample paper. So we've all the questions done, so make sure that you're okay with them all. And if not, let me know and ask me to practice any questions. I have loads of questions on each of those topics.